officially joined the Stanley Cup army. Aww. But you know what? I have no shame about it. Ooh. Ah. Hello. So today I will be attending Rolling Loud solo. How did this come to be? Well, there I was scrolling on Instagram as one does and I see the lineup for Rolling Loud and I see on Sunday, Future and Metro Boomin and then Don Tolliver. And I was like, oh, I messaged the promoter that posted the lineup on his story and I was like, I'm trying to go Sunday. And he was like, a thousand percent come. You just have to post the lineup on your Instagram story to get the band. And I was like, mm, never mind. That's not happening. A month goes by and I'm thinking about it. I'm like, I didn't go to Coachella last year and Metro played and he brought out The Weeknd and he had a whole fucking orchestra. Metro and The Weeknd are like two of my favorite artists. So was Don Tolliver. And I was like, I would be a fool not to go. Not to mention that all I needed to do to get this fucking band was to just post the stupid Rolling Loud lineup on my Instagram story. And I guess my fucking ego was just like, no, you cannot be one of those dickheads that posts the lineup to a festival on your story. And then I was like, why do you care so much? I missed out so badly not going to Coachella last year. I'm not gonna miss this again. Like this is my time. I'm going solo because I have approximately two girlfriends in Los Angeles and um, none of them listen to rap. So I'm gonna just pull it by myself. I figured it would be a really good adventure for me and a really interesting challenge to push me out of my comfort zone. I'm doing something that I would normally never do. I feel like going to a festival by yourself is just like but I'm very scared, but I don't know. Something feels really right about it. I'm like welcoming the discomfort and the unknown, I guess. So that's what we're doing today. I think that's all I have to say. Let's get started. Um, I got this new concealer because I ran out of mine and I don't really know how I feel about it because I obviously, not obviously, I just don't really use concealer like that, but I got some shit on my forehead so we're gonna use her today. I want to set some intentions for this makeup look today because recently I've been doing my makeup and like this side of my face has been separating and I just, I don't know why, but we don't want that to happen today. So today I am going to have a flawless base. Smooth base, no separation. We have approximately a little less than two hours to be ready. And I think that's totally doable, but also I wouldn't be surprised if I didn't make that timing. Alrighty, it's time, it's time, it's time for the eyes. Storming. This is the makeup look that I want to do. I have this red liquid liner and I have red eyeshadow, so I'm just gonna go for it. We're just gonna do it. I'm like, do I want to zoom you guys in so you can see? Wait, I need a set so there's no creasing. Wow. <gasps> Bitch, what the fuck? Okay, yes, that's the shape that I want. I'm gonna let that dry and I'm gonna work on the other eye. Okay, I think that looks good. Now I'm gonna take a red eyeshadow and um, set this so she won't move. To finish it off, I'm going to use a red lip liner because I don't have a red eyeliner to line my waterline. Slay, I kind of feel like I look devilish. 
I don't know if that's the vibe, but um, whatever, it's uni. That's for sure. The wing that they have like extends all the way. Do I want to do that? I don't know. I'll think about it. Now we're going to listen to some Zon. Some Zon. Do I want to extend the eyeliner? I'm just going to try it. I'm just going to try it. The problem is they're uneven. Like this one is going. Okay, better. Now for a lip color. I feel like a neutral, very like muted. What do they have? Oh, they don't have anything on their lips. Hmm. I feel like that's a vibe too. By the way, this is from Egg House Lata. Fall Winter 24. And um, it seems like Daniel S. Makeup is the one who did this look. That's what my screenshot said. Yes, she snapped. Time for hair. Okay, so originally my first thought was to just do my regular, usual split down the middle, slick back bun. But I've been seeing this like no part, just like me on social media lately. And like, I have never liked the way this looks on me, but like I've been seeing it everywhere. And I just decided I would try it today just to keep my hair on my face while I do my makeup today. And why? Do I really like it? I feel like it's different than the current middle part slick silhouette. I feel like it fits with the like uniqueness of these eyes. Also, my hair is literally four days in a wash. Let's see, if I do middle part, like it's not gonna look bad. I just kind of feel like it almost like for some reason tone the edginess down a little bit because it's a very common hairstyle. I want to do something a little different. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it! I got the scarf so that I could do the little like festival babushka, but just like a little bit more elevated. I don't know if it's gonna be like too much work because I know it's gonna fall like, okay, it's kind of giving Dune. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like, it's like that festival look, but this was the vision to do a little babushka moment. And then I got these glasses specifically for this event. Like this is how I wanna go around looking. Obviously, I'm gonna take my fucking glasses off to watch the artist with my real eyeballs. <sighs> but anyways, all I know is that I wanna wear these pants. Other than that, I know I just wanna be comfortable up here. I want to be comfortable and like effortless but like also slaying but I feel like everything that I have that's slaying and effortless is uncomfortable and everything that I have that is comfortable and effortless is not slaying. I need something that fits all three categories. I feel like this is the only thing that fits all of my criteria except I did pull her out of my dirty laundry. <laughs> Another problem is I can't really lift my arms because my yiddies are gonna come out and I'm gonna have to tape the shirt, but this really feels like the fit is the thing. So I'm probably gonna go with this because there's just nothing else. Okay, now for Jackie. Yeah, that feels good to me. Now I need to put my shoes on. Wait, what time is it? Oh my God, it's four. Wait. Okay, so basically, I don't know if I told you this, but the pregame technically starts at four, but I was gonna go to my friend's house and pre the pre because I'm going to this whole thing by myself and I need to pre the pre. What I wanted to do was be at my friend's by four, pre for a little bit and then go because technically the pre starts at four. Whatever, I feel like I'm making good time right now, but I do need to like hurry up, I guess now. And apparently there's a party bus. <sighs> I don't even fucking know, bro. I'm just going along for the ride. Wasn't really nervous because I just like was like, I'm not gonna allow myself to think about it. Otherwise I'm gonna freak myself out. But obviously I need to start thinking about it now and I have a full drive to <laughs> be alone with my thoughts. What am I doing? Oh, shoes. It's really only one option I feel like, which are my Reeboks. 
Or I could wear my Jordans and maybe they match the vibe a little bit more because these shoes are all white and my Jordans are black and white. And so it ties in the shirt a little bit better and brown and my jacket is brown. Okay, I'm gonna wear my Jordans. Soik. Yeah, I kind of feel like these are better. I need a bag. Hmm, a festival bag. Mm, nothing too flashy, something comfortable, easy to carry, and that's none of my bags. You know what? My Prada, I feel like, is the easiest one because I can just shoulder it. And there's red on it, so it kind of ties in my eyes. Okay, yeah. Sure. I don't know what I'm not allowed to bring. Probably cameras. I feel like every time I go to anything, they always make me fucking put my cameras away. So I'm not gonna bring my camera. I don't know, maybe a piece of gum. And I guess like a mint. Oh, lip stuff, obviously. Lip liner, I guess like something that I don't mind losing. This is almost out, so. Should I bring maybe like my powder puff in case my makeup does weird shit? Yeah. Oh. My friend lent me these decibel lowering thingies that you like wear to festivals or whatever. So I'm gonna bring these too. Cause you know, we wanna keep our hearing. Oh my God. I'm starting to get stressed. Bag. This is how I'm gonna carry my bag. So nobody steals my shit. I kind of think that's it. I kind of think we're ready to go. <sighs> Fuck me. Did I think this through? But also I'm like, I am here to enjoy my life and live my life to the fullest. And part of doing that is enjoying things alone. I'm gonna listen to a podcast and take deep breaths. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, I've arrived. I'm gonna make myself a drinky drink. I also decided to change my jacket. So what do I wanna drink? I'm gonna make myself a little gin and tonic. These are so cool. I got these cups for them when I went to Canada as like a housewarming gift. I forget which mountains they are, but one of them is like Lake Louise or some shit. Anyways, I'm gonna use that. Okay, I'm gonna be fine. Everything's fine. I really need to get like a wide lens camera because it's just always so hard to get everything that I want to record in one shot because this camera is just not a wide lens camera. Wait, this is gonna overflow if I put ice. Oh dear. Am I gonna drink this whole thing before I leave? No, it's gonna take me a million years. <laughs> I'm nervous now. Mm -mm. Fuck. Oh my God, he just said I could meet there. I'm quite literally just going back home. I live closer to the Rolling Loud venue than I do to the pregame. And listen, I only did this whole situation because I just wanted to make sure that I got the pass and I, that I was already with everybody and that I wouldn't get lost. Like, you know, it was just gonna be- Pardon the interruption, but I seriously need to work on my fucking storytelling skills because what the fuck was that? What? Essentially, I was too late to go to the pregame. Like they were gonna get on the party bus before I would have gotten to the pregame location. So I ended up just going back home. I ended up obviously just meeting them there. Well, actually I didn't end up meeting anybody, but whatever, you'll just see. I made my way here. I'm in the bathroom right now. I still don't have my band. I don't know how I'm here, but we're here. I'm really annoyed right now because I have my band. I was waiting in line for quite literally an hour and <laughs> they're not letting people in because certain celebrities. Okay, anyways, they stopped letting people in because certain celebrities haven't shown up yet. So I'm going to the GA entrance because I have a high wristband in the G entr GA entrance. But I'm so annoyed because Don Tolliver is literally on right now and I can fucking hear him. I'm not seeing him. You know, I have a lot of patience, but she is being tested right now. Okay, so it took me 15 minutes to get to the GA entrance and I waited there for like 10 minutes for them to say that my band would not work at the GA entrance because I have the very specific band for the club. <gasps> I literally want to kill myself right now. I missed on Tolliver, it's fine as long as I get in before Metro. I will not lose my shit. I am genuinely so upset right now. They fully locked the club passes. So I have a pass, but I can't even get in. Like, <laughs> I have been here since six. It's almost eight. I've just been walking outside the SoFi Stadium. <laughs> trying not to have a mental breakdown. I'm literally on my way back to the GA entrance because I don't know what else to do. Like, if this doesn't work, I am gonna give up and just go home, but. Oh my God, this sweet, sweet soul just let me in. He was like, I'm fucking over it, just go in. <laughs> Time is 8.10, 20 minutes till Metro, apparently. 
Oh my god, I, literally this was so miserable, but I'm just gonna have a good time now. <laughs> My Stanley Cup, that is my robe. Currently, I'm obsessed with this thing, but just give me a week, my obsession will subside. I got refills of my fave products. Empty, new, I have an empty one of these in my shower. <sighs> Get on ready with me. What an experience. Where do I even begin? I don't know. I guess that was fun. As fun as it could be. I literally waited for two hours. I went from one entrance, like you don't even understand. It took literally like 20 minutes to walk to the other entrance for them to tell me, oh no, you can only get in through the other entrance. Like your wristband will not scan. For me to go back to this entrance, for them to close the gate. You, they were like, oh, we're closed. We're not accepting any more people. I was like, uh, excuse me? Okay, so I went back. I went back to the GA entrance. And at this point, everybody at the GA entrance like knew me because I was standing there, like waiting for them to tell me if they could let me in the first time I went. And they were like, fuck it, just go. I was like, thank you guys. Like seriously, I would have had a meltdown. But you know what? I'm just grateful that I got in and I didn't completely waste my time. I'm glad I got to see Metro. But I also <laughs> forgot that the set was like shared between Future and Metro. And I don't really listen to Future like that. Like I did not know most of the songs that they played. Like I'm sorry. And I didn't get to see Don Tolliver, but I did hear him. And I will say his set seemed more fun just because everything that I heard I knew. <sighs> I don't know. I was kind of bored. Like, A, because I didn't know most of the songs, but B, because, I don't know, it was just kind of a boring performance. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know I went through all of that to say that the performance was boring. Like, I'm not saying it was bad. Like, it wasn't bad. I was entertained. I was having a good time, like, for what it was. And also for, like, everything that I had to go through before. Like, I was not about to not have a good time, you know? I don't know if it's maybe because I don't know enough about, like, rap music or hip hop or that culture. And maybe it's because like, there's not a lot that goes into like a rap performance. But the thing is, I feel like that's just not true. Like I know that when Metro performed at Coachella, I watched every single video from Coachella. Like I was basically there. For the three days that Coachella was happening, I was online. I was basically at fucking Coachella last year and I saw the way Metro performed. And it was fucking incredible, which is why I wanted to go so bad this time. That was a solo performance by him. So I guess that's different. And I guess maybe Coachella is like a bigger deal than Rolling Loud, whatever. But for example, I went to vlog in 2019 and Tyler, the creator performed. And the thing is like, I like Tyler, the creator, but I'm not like a diehard fan, you know? Like I definitely absolutely respect him so much as a as an artist he's just so creative and he really like thinks outside of the box and he's just like a very innovative artist i feel like and he really pushes the boundaries you just like can't find anybody else like him and like when i was watching him i was just like so there you know i was so like moved and emotional and inspired like i oh my god i could cry right now thinking about it like i remember after i saw this performance i was like so inspired days after and i couldn't stop thinking about it and i couldn't stop talking about it and he was just so present and like his soul was there you know like i felt it and i just really connected with him it was an amazing performance like he he put everything into that but i don't know like this performance just cut like they didn't do anything new with the songs like it very very well could have just been like the fucking radio you know like there was nothing new about the songs all they did was like walk back and forth on stage and like say the words and 
I'm not saying that shit's easy, but I was bored. Aside from the very first song, which I definitely may or may not have shed a tear when I heard superheroes come on and also called it, which song did I start my video with today? Superheroes, because I fucking knew that's what they would start with. Anyways, that was like the only song that I was like, <gasps> like, <gasps> they got me. They got my emotions, you know? I would give their performance like maybe a six out of 10. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, oh god, I'm sorry, fuck me, I'm sorry. They did bring Don Tolliver out, so that was nice, but he like didn't do much, you know, because it just wasn't his set. But it was nice that I at least got to see him. Overall, like, this was the experience that I had originally wanted. I did not want to have to go to the pregame and the party bus and hang out all these people that I didn't really know and potentially wouldn't like. So I'm really glad I got to do like everything by myself in the end. Anyways, that's all. I'm gonna take a shower now. I need to wash my four day no wash hair and go the fuck to sleep and process this. It was good. I don't regret anything. I'm glad I did it. Ew. I'm gonna be doing this hairstyle more often. I felt so confident, just so weird. Never felt confident with my hair slicked with no part. So I love that for me, but um, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Good night, you're probably sick of me. It's fine, love you though. Hopefully this was like somewhat entertaining to watch. I don't even know what the fuck I've filmed. This was not at all what I had expected, which is totally fine. I feel like that's somewhat the beauty of it. This was definitely an adventure. Love you. I like that is so like not my vibe. Um, we're gonna listen to the Heroes and Villains album. <laughs> Ew, what did I just say? Were but okay, anyways, um. Listen, listen. Every story we need to see. <laughs> and everything that I have is comfortable. That is, and everything that I have that is comfortable is not that is comfortable and <coughs> oh my god hello and the last thing is or the last two things are no the last what am i saying oh my god my Harley because oh my god they have a fucking automatic lock on this door and it just went off and I just got so scared